Hey, what's up, guys? God bless you. It's December 17th. Pray that you guys are doing good. Uh, today's reading has brought us to John chapter 17. And man, uh, <laughs> this is getting good. It's getting gooder. <laughs> it's uh, uh, Jesus is getting close to uh, being crucified and he's preparing the disciples, letting them know what is about to happen right here. And, and when we get if man, take the time for real, take the time. If you uh, if, read along with me, read it, you know, what I mean, read it before. You know, what I mean, I get to it that way. You already know what's you know, what I mean, what's going to happen. But if you haven't read it, go ahead and get your Bible, John chapter 17, and uh, I'm going to begin in verse 18, okay? Uh, and, and, and this thing, it is amazing. Um, man, so, so this is Jesus talking right here, and uh, Jesus could have been praying anywhere else, but he's talking to the Father, and, and as you read this, like he, he's speaking stuff that is like super obvious, you know what I mean? Excuse me. But he's speaking these things so that the disciples will hear him. So and, and, and it's so me and you can read it as well and understand. You know what I mean? Like he's he's speaking very obvious things, but it's for 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 our benefit. OK, he's having this conversation so that we can hear the conversation and we can understand how to speak to our father and check it out. OK, um, we're jumping in on uh, John chapter 17, verse 18. Okay, check it out. All right. Just as you sent me into the world, I am sending them into the world. Now, if that right there, if you know what it is that Jesus came into the world to do, then that right there should blow your mind. Okay, that right there should answer what it is that you are supposed to be doing as a Christian, as a follower of Jesus Christ, okay? As believers, that right there should answer the question as it, as what are we supposed to be doing? Just as, as the Father sends me, I also send you. What did the Father send him to do? To lay down his life, to pick up his cross. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Listen, just as you sent me into the world, I am sending them into the world. As the Father sent me to lay down my life, to pick up my cross and die. Now I'm asking you that. I'm not even asking you that. That's how I'm sending you out to lay down your life, to follow my example, to do what I did, to pick up your cross. Go out into the world and make disciples. Love the world how I love the world. But I can't do that. Don't worry about it. Because when I leave, the Holy Spirit's going to come. All you have to do is trust the Holy Spirit. Follow the Holy Spirit. Allow the Holy Spirit to live through you. You deny yourself so that the Holy Spirit can take control. You pick up your cross and crucify your flesh so that, so that you can be alive in the Spirit. Man, if you do not know what I'm talking about, email me. Send me your phone number, man. We can have a conversation. Listen, just as you sent me into the world, I am sending them into the world. You want some excitement in your life? Like, for real. Sorry, popcorn. <laughs> Anyways, listen, if you want to go on a lifelong journey, for real, okay? Deny yourself. Crucify your flesh. Learn how to say no to yourself and, and, and allow the Holy Spirit to guide you. You will be on the for man on the right of your life. Every single day will be an adventure. Father God, who are, you go, who, who are we going to speak to today? Father God, who are we going to go pray for? Father God, who are we going to go speak life to? Who's suicidal, Father God? Take me to them so that I can tell them that you love them. Father God, what, 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 what are they going through? Oh, my goodness, man. Listen, just as you sent me into the world, I am sending them into the world. Jesus did all kinds of miracles. 
Heal the blind. Heal the, the, the people that were paralytic. He, he my goodness, he, he raised the dead. Jesus said, do not marvel at the things that I do. Do not all, do not get all googly eyed because of the things that you see me do for greater things you shall do. Do we not understand that? Do we not believe what Jesus said? He said, do not be astonished. Don't get all amazed at the things that I do for greater things you will do. Listen to me. I want to do those greater things. I want to do them. I want to be so wrapped up in God that I want to see what, what's greater than raising the dead. Whoa, man, I'm fired up. I'm sorry. Just as you sent me into the world, I am, I am sending them into the world. And I give myself as a holy sacrifice for them so they can be made holy by your truth. Man. I am praying not only for, listen, listen here, listen, Linda. I am praying not only for these disciples, but also for all who will ever believe in me through their message. That's you. That's me. Jesus was praying for you 2000, over 2,000 years ago. He's saying, Father, I'm not just... Asking for the ones that are right here, but I'm also talking about the ones that will be out there in 2020. Dealing with whatever it is that they're dealing with. Father God, strengthen their faith. Be with them. I'm praying for them too. Jesus is at the right hand of the Father right now, praying for you. Asking God, give them more grace. Oh my gosh, man. I am praying not only for these disciples, but also for all who will ever believe in me. Through their, through their message, I pray that they will all be one. You hear me? Do you hear what Jesus is saying here? I'm praying not only for these disciples, but also for all who will ever believe in me through their, through their message. I pray that they will all be one, just as you and I are one, as you are in me, Father, and I am in you. And may they be in us so that the world will believe you sent me. My goodness. Do, do, do you understand now? Why there's so many denominations and there's so many religions? Do you? Because we're selfish. We're so jacked up. Jesus said, li listen to the words that he's saying. I pray that they will all be one. But nah, we rather divide ourselves into so many denominations and so many religions. And the devil is saying there, awesome, you guys are doing a great job. Please keep dividing yourselves. Because the more that you divide yourselves, the more confusion that you will bring into the world. And the more confusion that you bring into the world, the less that people will believe. For those of you that are familiar with the Bible, you know what happens in the book of Acts. It says that they were all in one accord. And when they were all in one accord, one mind, it says that the Holy Spirit came down like the sound of rushing waters, just wow, filled, in the, filled the room. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit when they were in one accord. Okay? One accord. We can't even decide on nothing. We're so divided. And we wonder why we don't see the movement of the Holy Spirit how we should. And we wonder why we don't see Jesus like real in our lives. We just go to church and have Sunday service, but we don't, we don't, we don't see. I mean, we don't feel him. We don't, we don't see him. Listen, like for real, man, I'm, I'm, I'm fired up. Okay. I'm going to go back and I'm going to rewatch this video and I'm going to encourage myself. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm fired up. I enjoy this stuff. I'm a weirdo. Just as you sent me into the world, I am sending them into the world. He's sending you out to be the light. He's sending you out to be the hope. He's sending you out to bring life into a dying world. Do you not see, do you not see the condition that we're in? And in the meantime, we're sitting here just, you know, Father, take us out of the world. He sent you in. What you praying for him to take you out? Come on. What have you done? What have we done? 
If you haven't noticed, we have dropped the ball here in America. I don't know about I don't know about the rest of the world. I'm ignorant to the rest of the world, but here in America, we have dropped the ball nasty. We have fumbled the ball horribly. And we're praying, Lord, take me out. Why am I going to take you out? In the same manner how I sent my son, I'm sending you. Be the light. Be the difference. And in the meantime, here we are. We can't even love people. <laughs> oh, Lord. I don't know about you, but I'm convicted by the words that I'm saying. I'm not sitting here just pointing the finger. I'm looking at myself on the phone right now. I'm preaching to myself, man. <sighs> Father God, help us, Lord. Break our heart for what breaks yours, Father God. Help us to deny ourselves. Help us to live for you. Give us an eternal, an eternal perspective, Father God, instead of just worrying about what's right here in front of us. Help us to pray for others instead of just praying for ourselves, Lord. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm convicted by this. Just as the, as the Father sent me, I'm also sending you. You're on a mission. You have an assignment. What assignment is that? To stay in relationship with the Father, to stay in constant communication with the Father, love Him, and love others. We are called to witness. What, what does it mean to witness? It means just to tell others what we have seen, tell others what we have experienced, tell others what it is that, that, that we've heard. That's it. It's not that difficult. We complicated, but what am I supposed to say? You know what? If we're the reason why we don't know what to say, the reason why we have nothing to tell others is because we have not spent time with our Father. We are called to witness. What are you supposed to witness? What you have seen, what you have experienced, what you've heard. But if you have not, if you don't have any of that, it's because you're not praying, because you're not reading your word, because you're not staying in constant communication with the Father. Come on, guys. Oh, man. I'm going to read that one more time. And I'm going to leave it at that because I got to get back to work. But listen to me, please. Take hold of this. Pray, Father God. Let, let that hit me. Let that cut me. Let me feel something, Lord. I don't understand it, but Father God, just help me to understand it. Let's get real, please. Listen, just as you sent me into the world, I am sending them into the world. And I give myself as a holy sacrifice for them so they can be made holy by your truth. What is the truth? The word of God. I am praying not only for these disciples, but also for all who will ever believe in me through their message. That's you. That's me. Jesus had you in mind over 2,000 years ago. He was thinking of you. <laughs> that, should, that should do something to you, man. I feel, I feel the presence of the Holy Ghost. I don't know about you. Man, I pray that they will all be one just as you and I are one, Father. As you are in me and I am in you. And may they be in us so that the world will believe you sent me. Jesus said, you will know them, okay? People will know that you are my disciples by the way that you love each other. We can't even agree on anything. Come on, man, stop majoring on the minors and focus on what matters. Love people. Love them. Man, I love you guys. I love you guys. I, I pray that you guys have a blessed day. I pray that this encouraged you. Let's keep pressing forward. I love you guys. God bless you.